Yo, what up? It's a special little extra add-on, DVD extra, Spider Murphy exclusive, specially for June PZs and uh, his battle against magic. Um, Because I forgot to leave it out in my other one that I made last night. Alright. So, we got magic, and we got June. How do you say your name? Is it June PC? June EPs? I really don't have. I think it's June PZ. Or June P's? I don't know. Um, you gotta tell me exactly how to pronounce that because I don't want to get your name pronounced wrong, for real. So we got Magic versus my man Jules. Let's just call it like that. Uh, you know, to be honest, I didn't know nothing about June before this battle. Nothing, really. Uh, I knew about Magic. I seen Magic. I've actually hosted a battle where Magic battled Prime and he had some extremely racist bars. <laughs> Magic. But I've also seen him battle at the 5 on 5. You know, back when he used to rock the backwards, the backwards quail man hat from Doug. Where he literally used to have the backwards hat. And it was just very quail man-ish from the show Doug on Nick at Night. If you guys can go ahead and just Google quail man and go and watch the way Magic battled at the 5 on 5. You'll see the resemblance. But Magic, nevertheless, got fire bars. Magic got some bars. Um... He definitely, I actually think he should have stuck with that character more. The Quail Man character, I really liked it. It, like, worked for him. It was hilarious. It was like a preppy boy, like, you know, type of type of look. And Magic got some bars, you know. he You could definitely tell he tries hard. He's always trying to, um, to step his game up. You could tell the kid takes it seriously. He's not just in this just because he wants to be part of the battle rap world. He really loves it. You could tell that he tries hard to get better and better. Um, he just needs a little more, I don't know, um, I don't really know exactly what to call it, like, maybe it's like, he needs to understand more the concept of what battle rap is, instead of trying to punch so hard with him, the, the, the key to a good punchline magic is not, it, it, it's not that it's so complex, it's gotta be easy enough that everyone gets it, but simple enough that the people in the crowd can hear it and react to it. But also give him a little, oh, that was kind of, that was intricate. I feel you try a little too hard. I think that might be what it is. You're trying too hard. Instead of trying so hard, kick back a little bit. Kind of analyze your, kind of analyze your partner on a, on a, if we were in the mall right now with some bitches surrounded us right now, a whole bunch of group of people, and this motherfucker tried to crack some jokes on me and say some shit, what would you say to him right there to fucking, one, make him feel like a clown, two, make everyone laugh, and three, make yourself look like you're the fucking alpha male in the room, you understand? Don't try so hard to get under his skin into these complex things, like, who cares about all that? When it, at the end of the day, it's a battle. We're fucking, we're freestyling the shit on each other and to make each other look bad in front of a crew of people. You don't really know what's going home and, like, dissecting your Game of Thrones, like, intricate Targaryen stories. That, so just get a little more simpler. Speaking of the Targaryens, I'm missing my Game of Thrones right now. Like, I got it ready to watch. It was from last night. I'm very excited. So anyways, Magic got bars, you know what I mean? But don't try so hard, homie. Try to ease up a little bit. Go back to the Quail Man. And definitely, I don't know what you were doing. Like, if you want the Rick Ross boss beard, all right, I can feel that. I fucks with it. But the way you had it taped, nigga, you taped it literally like, it came up and then came down, leaving like, Making your cheeks look like down here, giving you the, the fucking, you look like the guy from the OC Chopper. I don't know if you guys remember that show, the OC Chopper, the son who would tape it like, Ooh! the chin strap that literally went all around the fat neck. That's kind of what your tape line reminded me of a little bit. It's like you went for a different, it's like all this was bearded and then all this was exposed cheeks and like coming downwards, making you look like lean face like a fat like dog hanging cheeks i hate that look nigga grow the beard but tape it up perfect second off now let's go to my man junes junes had some fire aggression he was all up in his face he brought up the about how he used to wear the backwards hat and the preppiness and all this shit you know what i mean um i think junes Bars were just hitting more to the crowd, more crowd pleasers. People were, oh, oh, he's getting at him. You know what I'm saying? Like, June was definitely doing his thing, and I think he was taking that battle because 
magic was just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know, yo, I gotta really check it out on, on camera. But at the, from, from what I remember is there was a couple times where I was just like, damn, man, I wish magic would just loosen up and just not try so hard and not try to sound so gangster and not try to sound... I just see a lot of potential in there, and I just wish, you know, that you would take what I'm saying, constructive criticism, not shitting on you in any way, because I can tell you love the shit, and you're a good fucking dude, and every time we hang out and see each other, I always give you love, because my boy Mags likes you, like, you know what I'm saying, you're a good fucking dude, bro, and June P, you're a fucking ill-ass nigga, too, you came by the hotel, you know, you showed love, you were kicking it out there with me, uh, I got a chance to kick it with to, to poly with you on like a personal tip, and you're a cool ass nigga too. You traveled all the way down from Atlanta and shit. So shout out to June PZ, shout out to Magic. This is a little fucking um little extra DVD uncut. So this is what I'm saying. I think that June took that battle for sure, and I see potential in both of them. So shout out to both guys and Magic. Go back to the Quail Man look. Don't try so hard, and you're gonna be one of the best ever, homie. Um...